Tudor Barn The Tudor Barn was built circa 1840 and is one of only two surviving buildings from an era when the area had been a residential community marketed to Boston businessmen as a high-class suburb. The Tudor family owned property on Spot Pond. Henry Tudor, the barn's owner, was the brother of Frederick Tudor, a successful businessman who harvested ice from Spot Pond. The Botoom House the Botoom House was built circa 1848 for William Foster, but John Botoom's family occupied it from 1855 to 1898. Botoom served in the state legislature from 1867 to 1869, representing Melrose, Stoneham, and Winchester. The DCR now uses the mansion for its headquarters. Wyoming, on the eastern margin of Spot Pond. By 1840, the eastern shore of Spot Pond was considered a desirable place of residence for wealthy Boston businessmen. Lots were offered for sale at auction in 1846 and were described as follows. All these lots terminate on the clean, stony margin of the lake in deep water. All have fruit and forest trees on them. The Wyoming neighborhood remained an attractive enclave of estates from the late 1840s into the early 1880s. The Botoom House is the last remaining house. The Langwood Hotel The Langwood Parkland and Trust Company began development of the Hotel Langwood circa 1890, open year-round and with rates from $2.50 to $5 per day. The hotel contained 150 rooms on four floors and the views of Spot Pond from the veranda were spectacular. The Hotel Langwood was burned to the ground on April Fool's Day in 1902. The loss was estimated to be $100,000 and insurance $50,000. The New England Sanitarium The Seventh-day Adventists purchased the Hotel Langwood and surrounding land as a site on which to relocate their South Lancaster Sanitarium. This new main building was constructed in 1906. The Sand became New England Memorial Hospital in 1967 and later the Boston Regional Medical Center. Haywardville The village of Haywardville grew up around the Haywardville Rubber Works and thrived from circa 1858 to 1870. Nathaniel Hayward obtained the first patent for the manufacture of rubber footwear. When Spot Pond was converted to a reservoir, the water of the pond was diverted and the mills fell silent. Stone Zoo Charles Price began a small collection of local animals when he became the superintendent of the Middlesex Fells Reservation. His collection grew through the years as did the number of people who came to visit it. Eventually the Metropolitan Parks Commission began to help with the cost of feeding the animals and building their cages. This postcard was mailed on June 10, 1912 and its message says, in part, in memory of the day we visited this place. The Pumping Station The Metropolitan District Commission Pumping House is one of Stoneham's finest public buildings despite a 1975 fire which resulted in replacement of its original tile roof and L. It was designed by the prominent firm of Shepley, Rutan, and Coolridge in the Renaissance Revival style. Camp Alieska. The Mystic Side Girl Scout Council realized their dream of providing an overnight camping lodge in Stoneham by fundraising and building Camp Alieska in the Fells. Started in 1948, it was finished with the help of more than 100 volunteers and dedicated on November 6, 1949. The lodge was sold to the MDC for $1 in 1984 and is now used by the K-9 service. The Bear Hill Observatory The Bear Hill Observatory was built in 1910 and replaced an earlier wooden structure that was built by the Appalachian Mountain Club. The view from the observatory is not only of the Middlesex Fells in Boston, but on a clear day includes the Blue Hill Range, Temple Mountain, and Mount Monadnock.